On the sharp, rocky banks of the Atlantic Ocean sits one of my personal favorite cities in all of the United States of America. Now while I call Tennessee home, I have loved both of my two times in Portland, Maine, with its most recent trip coming in July of 2023. From its beautiful lighthouse views to the way the waves crash along the rocks, Portland offers a lot of beauty to its visitors with a downtown scene that is both classic New England style while also very modern and adapting, with plenty of amazing boats to admire in and around the docks, and both the dining scenes and the dining taste leave a pleasurable experience while in Portland. However, for this rail fan, our trip to Maine was made even better when I got the chance to take a ride on Amtrak for the very first time riding the Downeaster Line. While the Downeaster covers over 145 miles of track in New England, we will not need much for this short trip out of the station in Portland, Maine down to the station along Old Orchard Beach, which is just about 15 minutes away by train. We chose to take the train to Old Orchard Beach because as we found, parking for said beach is $20 or more, plus the cost of a little more gas in our rental car. However, for just $15, I was able to get a round trip for both me and my wife with a chance to do something I always wanted to do since we do not have Amtrak in Middle Tennessee. We do have the WeGo Music City Star, but I had never took a ride on America's most iconic passenger line today. Our journey first began slow as we worked our way out of the branch line into the station and back to the main line, passing some pretty cool industry along the way before crossing over to Four River Bridge. Shortly after the bridge, we saw our first sign of some of the industry serviced in and around Portland, passing tanks which read Sprague, first solar tank in the nation, and shortly after, a cut of 10 tank cars were spotted just outside the industry.
Now while we started off our trip slow, it did not take long for us to get up to speed as we thundered our way closer to Old Orchard Beach, and along the way, we flew by the Rigby Yard operated today by CSX. But looking around the yard, based on the locomotives, it'd be hard to know that CSX operated it as I saw locomotives featuring the old colors of the Pan Am Railway and the Guilford Rail System, two former railways of the Northeast owned today by CSX. Judging by the amount of cars in the yard, these older engines still get to stretch their legs often as the amount of industry seems high in this area, and in this particular case, we did catch a little bit of action later in our day in Old Orchard Beach. I couldn't help myself but just admire all of the beauty in the area along the way, passing many marshes of the Atlantic Ocean, and don't take my lack of a smile for granted, deep down, I was a happy little foamer enjoying the train ride and thinking of all the fishing opportunities in those waters as well. Before we knew it, the conductor gave the call, next stop, Old Orchard Beach, and it was time for my wife and I to prepare to exit the train. The crew on this particular Amtrak train were very friendly and excellent to us on our first trip of Amtrak. Now, as for the time at the beach, well, it wasn't necessarily beach weather. While conditions were nice back in Portland, Maine, Old Orchard Beach was blanketed in fog on this day for some reason, but we did still take time to enjoy the pier, grab a slice of pizza, and enjoy what we could with our time at the beach, even if the water was cold on our feet. Ooh. But then suddenly, my ears heard the bells of the crossing, and it was not Amtrak. I barely got to the crossing in time for the catch, but leading this train was CSX 7620, an authentic standard cab C40-8 still in operation today, and although it has since lost its old YN2 CSX scheme, this was still an amazing catch for this Tennessee rail fan, as this particular locomotive features the remains of the YN2 paint scheme, with a uniquely Conrail blue nose and an even more unique Conrail name tag at the front of the nose. While that is still vandalism, it was interesting to see regardless. Pairing behind 7620 was 7518, a C40-8 still in its colors of the Pan Am Railway, as they helped bring back a long train of boxcars to the Rigby Yard. Now I blabbed enough about the uniqueness of this train, allow me to back up real quick and let's admire this unique train one more time with its natural sounds. <laughs>
after we watched the freight train, it was now time for us to go back to Portland, Maine. Now, we're not sure why, but while our train to Old Orchard Beach was on time, our return train was very much behind by over one hour. So in the meantime, we did see many more Amtrak trains passing through, which was nice to admire, but especially with the unique use of remaining Amtrak F40PHs along the Down Easter. These old locomotives have had their prime movers removed these days, and the center space is used for additional bag storage for passengers, but by placing a locomotive on each end, they can still operate from either end no matter which direction they are traveling. So as this train dropped off and picked up who they were taking down the line, we continued to wait for our train to come back the other direction, and for a second I thought our train was coming, but I quickly realized this was not our train, as this one was far too short, featuring one leading Amtrak Genesis, a single passenger car, and a trailing F40PH. train. It only had one car on it. <laughs> but then it was finally our turn as our return train reached the old Orchard Beach and we made the journey back in to Portland Station. And on our way in, we found the full train of boxcars we saw earlier back in the Rigby Yard with their unique power set aside for another run at another time. But that does it for our time in Maine on this adventure. We had a lot of fun in our time up there, and if I'm ever back in Maine, I'll have to spend some more time checking out the rails in and around Portland. Thanks for watching this unique rail fanning video, and if you enjoyed it, please leave a like on the video and subscribe to Danny B Train for more train related content. We're having fun and playing some great train games here, such as Trains 22 and Railroader on this channel. But I sure would love to showcase some more rail fanning days here from Tennessee, right here on this channel in the very near future. Until next time, this has been Danny B. Thanks for watching, and I hope you have a great day. Bye, guys.